can you want to get, get something okay so um i thought it would be fun to teach you guys how to make the american girl suitcase so um the things that you're gonna need are a box that can open like this one or a container or whatever you can use a hot glue gun or regular glue um some duct tape or just regular tape I mean, it's not duct tape <laughs> and then you don't need a big jar i just got and then you can use some paper clips i just you can you only need one or two i don't know yet and then um some things that you want to decorate it with your suitcase like um oh and scissors like i'm going to use some uh stickers and paper to decorate because it's just a plain old box so i thought i would make one for kit today because i have some letters and i'll put some a um a k on it so it stands for kit so um first all i'm going to do is just plug in the glue gun so when we're making the other things it will be plugged in so i'm just going to plug that in real quick second there's a clip right here okay there we go okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover this box in some uh decorations i want so um i'm going to just first take my paper and you might need pens for this too if you're going to cover the box but i'm just going to kind of eyeball it a little I'm just gonna cut around and make squares for each of them so it's covered in purple because Kit really likes every color but she told me she wanted a purple suitcase so I'm gonna make her a purple one. So this craft is kind of easy, not too complicated but yeah so I'm gonna be making squares for every side and I'll be back when I'm done. So I made all the sides for the box right over here. You can also use tins, I guess, for it. So just any box that you think or anything. I don't know. Container too. Now, um, what I'm gonna do is make double-sided tape, which I just if you don't know how to make double-sided tape. You could use double-sided tape, or you could just glue it on. I'm gonna just be um, the easiest way for me is just to tape it on so I'm just gonna go like this and then if you fold both sides make double-sided tape and um, and then I can stick them on and I'll do that for all the little corners and then yeah so I'll probably stick these off camera because I have a lot to do because I want all of it to be covered in purple so I'm gonna tape all this so finally I've got all of the sides covered and I can still find the opening I just gotta look for it for one second I'll probably make something so I know where it is um, all the time where is it I lost the opening oh here it is okay this is the opening but I was thinking I should cut off the flaps here Wait, you can't see that these flaps because they don't really do much right now <laughs> they can still and they and I want to be able to put the clothes in really easily but now so I know where the cover is I'm gonna put a little mark with some markers because I think I have some markers here somewhere oh here there okay um with a green marker and I'm just gonna put a little mark here just so I know that that is the opening so it looks like this it looks really good now the glue gun must be done. Hey, it didn't heat up. I don't know why it didn't heat up. That's kind of weird. Oh, I forgot to turn the um, light switch on. Okay, now it will be warming up again. I had to start it all over again, but that's okay. Um, I have this little corner that I have to tape a little more because it's coming undone a little because I think I forgot to put some tape there. Just a little, this little flap here. So I'm just gonna tape that in place because I want it to be able to stay like that. Okay, now it's a really good size for her as a suitcase. Um, 
So I think I'll just decorate it when I'm waiting for the handle to be done. So this is the fun part. Um, so I'm gonna just cut open these um, stickers. I have letters and I'll put a, if I can find one, I'll put a um, K on it because her kit starts with K. Don't know if I'll find, I'll find one, but we'll see. This should have one in it. Oh yeah, there we go, a K. So a K is right here. And then you're just supposed to, there's like white on the back and you can just peel it off and then it'll be sticky, which, there we go. And then I'll just put it on the front of it. And then I've also got some heart stickers here and I'll put those all over it because, yeah. and then eventually I'll probably make some more because it's a really good way to make a, a doll suitcase. I only have one American Girl doll suitcase and yeah, so, and sometimes I bring more than one dolls. I don't want to just share one because I can't fit enough clothes. So that's why um, I'm gonna make them all one, but for now I'm just gonna let them share. And then I'm just gonna put stickers all over it because that's what makes it look really pretty. Um, so I'm gonna put it on all the like all around it because I want to have lots of stickers on it. So I'll probably put one or two on each side. And the stickers are really pretty and they're just many little hearts. Oh wait, you couldn't see that. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. Okay, now it's covered in stickers all around. And hopefully the glue gun, I might need to wait a little longer. Oh, it might be done. No, it's not done. Oh, there we go, it is done. Okay, so now what we'll need to do, there's a, well, there's done. The glue gun's just over there. But now we have to take some paper clips. Where are my paper clips? Oh, they're there. So this is my little paper clip jar. And I'm gonna be doing just a plain old white one because there's a bunch of stickers on that it already has some decorations. So now you wanna turn it into, you can also use wire for this or like, I don't know, whatever you want. Um, but, so you just wanna bend it into wire, if that makes sense. And you will need two pieces if you want it to have a long handle. So I'm just gonna go like that and then do another one. It just looks like that, it's like that. It's just straight, so it will work and then you can bend it. We'll probably stick them together with the glue gun. Let's see what we'll do. And then what you can do is if you have two things, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Mine aren't, but, so you can just make like this shape, like almost like an L, except you're gonna turn it around. You're gonna do that with both. So it looks like an L. You just have to make them straight and then put a little curve to it. Makes sense. Now, they look like two little L things, and then you're gonna flip them over, and then we'll get the glue gun to glue these two together, like that, and then there'll be a handle. You might think that they're a little too long wide, I mean. That's why I'm just gonna cut some off. Wow, that's hard. Can't really cut it. But that's okay, I think it's fine. And if you want to, this is what I'm, I can do. You can just glue them on top of each other and then it makes it look shorter. It's kind of hard to explain, but yeah. Um. So I think the glue gun's ready. So now I'm just gonna move you guys over there. Sorry about the little scrap piece of paper. I'm just using that because I'm upstairs in my room. And I didn't wanna get it on the carpet. So I'm just gonna glue these two together, if that makes sense. Okay, and then I'm gonna wait for it to dry because I don't wanna burn myself with it. Okay, so it should look, it might look a little messy, but you can always cover that up with some washi tape, which I might cover it up with, not washi tape, I might just cover it up with this because it doesn't look as bad as the glue. 
I'm just gonna glue it a little more. And I think I have an extra glue stick, which will be good because you need a lot of glue for this. And then, now, if you got something that looks like this a little, you can stick it on your suitcase wherever you want. I'm gonna stick it there, like that. I'm just gonna just glue them on. I'm just gonna push this in. Glue them on. Just one little. Okay. It is pretty hard to glue them on because you have to like wait for them to dry because you don't want them to like fall over or anything. So I gotta hold this for a few, um, maybe a few seconds because it's to dry. And if it is not standing up, that means you just have to kind of go around the glue with your your glue stick and make it so it's like a barrier thing. That makes sense. Okay, there we go. Now mine's gonna dry for a few minutes. So I'm gonna put that aside. Now I have to clean up my area because there's like stickers everywhere. And yeah, so I'm gonna first unplug the glue on because I'm gonna do that. Oh no, 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 it fell over, it fell over. I gotta keep it up. There we go. You know what I might do? I might just take this little bottle I have and keep it up like that. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean up this and I'll be back. So Kit is desperate to try the suitcase. So it is almost, I think, all dry. The suitcase is just right there. And I covered the top with some tape and it looks like a little like cushion thing at the top, which it looks really cute. And then the thing can open and you can fill it up with clothes as much as you want. Oh, another good thing is pencil cases because those look good too. And it does drag a little on the back, like, because I didn't stick this very well. So I'm going to stick the bottom a little better. Oh, here, you can't see the bottom because it is, like, making a weird sound. And I'm sorry, guys, but you can't, I don't know, I don't, I don't really know a way you can make wheels out of it. But I guess they'll just have to drag it. But I'm not that... I'm upset about that. I mean, maybe I'll try to do a different video about how to make wheels for your suitcase, but well, guys, the tripod fell for some reason. <laughs> so as I was saying, I might do another video about how to do wheels, but for now, I think it is fine. But first, let's see Kit, the model, test it out. So, first I'm just going to stand her up because she needs to stand up when she holds her suitcase. So, I'm gonna stand her up here and put the tripod higher because um, it's gonna be easier. I'm right next to this mess right now. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's a perfect height here. I'm gonna take this off the tripod. It's the perfect height because it's just touching her hand perfectly. And then she has a little suitcase that stands, is, that has a K on it for Kit. And she looks perfect, the most perfect size, and she looks like she's going traveling. And I'll definitely be using this suitcase a lot. And probably making more because these are really easy to make. And I only really took like 20 minutes, 15 minutes to make it. So now, time for her to roll it. I think you guys saw that. And it looks really good. And really good I don't think you would be rolling it much because yeah but it does stand up like you can pull it and hold it really well so um thanks for watching please click like and subscribe in the comments let me know if you like this little suitcase American Girl suitcase hack bye <laughs>